All right, I'm gonna ask for a quick follow up with Turkin, Turkin 2, and whatever on uh, this. So I booted into PAL. So I copied some WHD load games. I do have networking working. I am rocking a PCM CIA card. Installed my Roadshow registered, and just to show you, it will pick up the PCM CIA card here. It does take a minute, not a minute, but it takes a few seconds to kind of get its crap and show you your IP. It does set your clock. Here's the NIC. There we go. And then I just close this. SMB mounter is, oops, yeah, thanks. SMB mounter works. I am over here. Network, this is still caffeine. Samba, SMB mounter. I put my Amiga share in. Double click. There's my Amiga share on the network. So networking is working. I am not a fan of Directory Opus Magellan. Actually, I loathe it. So I always go up here and quit caffeine. That way I can get back to 3.9 itself. And then in stuff, I kind of just copied some WHD loads here. So we're going to do Turrican first. It is WHD load. It's going to come on this monitor. In a second. Okay, WHD load automatically sets the turtle mode. Let's check the chip rem speed. I just want to see how it looks, so press Welcome it. To see how it plays. I'll turn off the death light. Pressing fire. What am I looking for? Crap, wrong button. Playing with me. Okay, this is working. F10 to quit. It'll take me back to the RTG side. Turkin works. Let's do Turkin 2. The CDTV version? I don't know. Oh, I gotta turn on my power. Hold on. There we go. I'm gonna press the button. It seems to be okay. I'm just gonna see what it does. I mean, it's, it's right on, you know. Get off me. I suck. That's what she said. I hate up to jump. I really hate it. Look at that guy getting there. So, I mean, it's, it's playing pretty well. Chip rem speed is not an issue. Okay, I suck, all right? All right, that's Turkin 2. Turkin 3, I've never really been a huge fan of, but, you know, we'll give it a go. Does the music sound weird? I mean, it sounds fine, but it just... It seems to be okay. I'm gonna reboot. I'm gonna grab Saint Dragon. It's a OCS, ECS game. And it's on my network drive. And a WHD load folder. And I haven't built my image up, so I have to use caffeine for now. Nothing wrong with that. I just choose not to use this because I'm I, I'm not used to the directory Opus Magellan. We'll go with that. On the original PyStorm, Doug from Tenmark tested this and I didn't boot in a PAL. You stinking turd. Alright, we're in PAL again. Uh, stuff. Saint Dragon. Hit it. WHD load. Enter. Turtle mode gets turned on automatically, which is the JIT CPU Turns off so you don't run too fast. That's normal. It's the beginning of the game. You're a dragon bone thing and you shoot things. But the issue with the Pi Storm is when the flying artifacts came in the past, when the chip ram speed was messed up, you'd be flying along and then all of a sudden the mountain would appear. So we're going to roll and see how we do. Mm -hmm. 
So far, so good. You can just hold the fire button down. It takes a second for it. It doesn't always do it right away. Can't fix my crappy game plan, but that's St. Dragon. That was always an issue. And uh, now it's working. Need to put some eye game on here and get it fixed. This goes back to, you should be on watching that. Uh, it'd be nice to have the single monitor solution eventually for this. That's why I think I'm just gonna build my own image and have it in RGB only. I have the HD, uh, the flicker fixer stuff. I don't really need the RTG actually. I don't need it for what I wanna do for this 1200 and AGA gaming machine, even though I don't really play games. But network and all that stuff is nice to have and it's nice to see that caffeine is a turnkey solution. So I think we're good to go. So uh, I'm gonna do something AGA. Now, Mr. Doug brought a good point up about the pie storms. Remember the pie storm, first one for the 568,000 looking, yep. The uh, first pie storm had some major chip RAM issues and it was clearly pointed out to me that the AGA chipset uses the chip RAM Mm, much harder. So while this is at 1.5, the other one on the TF1230 was 3x, so it's AGA, so it's going to need some umps. So I'm going to fire up uh, Super Stardust AGA WHC load just to see how it works. Okay, we're going to be on input here. I'm going to go to a nothing screen so I don't get that whine, this whine, if you hear it. Let's see how it works. Super Stardust. It's going to come on this monitor, remember, because it's, it's how it works. And we're going to see how it loads. How we have artifacting, or how does an AGA game play? Just skipping the intro here. I am playing with my joystick. I don't know what I'm hitting. We're just going to do level one. I am seeing some weird stuff. Look at the asteroids. They're kind of like... Oh, you're timed on this? Right. Got it. Phew. See this? Glitching. That's what we're talking about. AGA games, they got glitching. Let's confirm that. Yeah, look at it. See the green crap? That's what Doug's talking about with that chip ram stuff. Look at that. Hey, my other monitor just went glitchy. I mean, it's playable and it's not, it's fast. I mean, it's totally playable. It's not slowing down. There is some little artifact grafting on the AGA side. If I only had a system that was super fast and could compare the game, oh wait I do. I plugged my Pi 400 into my switcher. 1200 still on, it's uh, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let this boot. I got my PlayStation uh, 3 controller, Bluetoothed this bad boy. And uh, we're gonna run Pi Mega 3 and we're gonna do a direct comparison between the Amiga 1200, if I could just get some more stuff on my desk, that would be great. HDMI audio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up the real 1200 on this monitor, you know, or do our thing. I'm gonna flip back to the 1200 here. Get the right mouse, because I have three of them on my desk. We are going to skip that. I'm just gonna reboot it, hold on. It just froze. Reboot the whole caboodle. 
rebooting caffeine because that's where my game is. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not going to have any audio when I do this. Well, maybe I will because it's on the... Never mind. So the audio... What the... Well, that's wonderful caffeine. I'm going to add this to my favorites here. Properties. Favorita. Just skipping. Ah, oh, stereo audio. So I press start, start, start. Pimega on the left, Amiga on the right. A little loud, sorry. Pimega, Pi Storm. Sound is the same, but look at the graphics. Clear. It's got same pattern, I'm getting bumped. I am playing on this machine. Can't buy this one too. What we're looking for is that silver stuff. Let me turn this down. That's just too loud. I'll tell you what, my Amiga looks awesome. And I died. Grab this one real quick. And I died. So, sound is a little weird with both of them playing. I'm a F10 amount. Now, I'm gonna set my controller down. Now, I'm not gonna be able to see this, but I'm gonna flip back to uh, the Pi Storm 1200 here, and I'm gonna launch that sysinfo again to get it over here on the screen. And I'm gonna flip back to Pi Amiga while this is running because it stays here. I'm gonna run the same thing. Quit I game. Benchmarks. Sysinfo. This is the same sysinfo, also, by the way. Speed. <coughs> I just wanna see the chip speed. So Pi Amiga on the Pi 400 on the left, ah, 1,088,243. Okay, uh, 11.35 MIPS, 297.02 mega flops. Pi Storm smokes it on that, but my chip speed is 11,405. The Pi Storm chip speed is 1.59. Now it is crushing it on the MIPS. It is doing very well. Uh, 1610, 12 nights. So let's do the, the self. So 700 times faster than an Amiga 1200. My stocked clocked Raspberry Pi 400 running Pi Amiga 3 on the 1200, their third line is 894. So slightly faster on Pi Amiga 3, but the chip speed, chip speed. It's kicking a tiny. So, what else can I do? Pi Amiga, I know, rolls. I know it rolls out. Pi Storm rolls out too, and caffeine's a nice OS. But the chip RAM speed thing, that is, that's an that's a live example of what you're getting into. Fortunately for me, I don't play games, so that doesn't affect me. I'm just a pure beneficiary of the 3D programs and the art programs and the image processing, oops, sorry, programs that make it all awesome and there's nothing wrong with the Pi Storm at all caffeine and all that stuff if you're gonna do that but remember if you're a gamer you're gonna have some little bit of issues here and there until that chip speed thing is resolved so they have some demos on here little no we're gonna run elude we come in peace just like every other Mika would oh it's gonna run on the HDMI hmm interesting let's see how it does Oh my god, see, look how slow this is. Look at that load. Do, 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 do. My controller turned off when I turned off my Pi. Ooh, it's dark. It's still rock on, it's still, still there. 1.59, that's the best I can do. Jump. Okay, so that one works. It doesn't crash. The God's One Meg NTSC did crash. 
but you know it did okay yeah this damn chip ram thing's a real pain in the butt for you gamers hey welcome back to the future now I know you just finished watching that video I just did and there were some issues with games since then it has been a month or so and everything's been going fine and no issues at all I have not done the RTG yet maybe not going to I am going to uh, put myself in PAL mode. Display options, we're going to do PAL, use boot. This is Type 76 internal hard drives, by the way. There have been significant updates with the PyStorm team, especially Emu68. Mr. Michael, who's all dapper in his photo, looking great. I look like a old sailor piece of... Yep. Anyway, there's been some updates. I'm in PAL, so my shit's going to be shifted and I'm just gonna run um, eye game again and I'm gonna do super stardust I think there was a trainer on one of these just using it let's see if the asteroids ghost now they don't Mortimer we're back holy crap so awesome you saw what happened before now it's not working. No, I mean, it's it's not it's not doing the thing. You know the thing. I'm gonna check something now. Please keep in mind, Sysinfo and SysSpeed are not designed for these type of accelerators. Yes, they're gonna show you some numbers, but they're not they're not what they're supposed to be. It was 1.56 before. What do we get now? I'm a Pi three. 880 MIPS, 828 megaflops, 1.23 chip speed. Now, here's something funny. Watch this. That's Sysinfo 4.4. Let's go back a tickle to Sysinfo 4. So this is Sysinfo 4.0, and watch what happens here. You're going to see here, 040, 040, a little bit less, 3.6. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, what? So now it's better? No, I'm running an old sysinfo. Oh! Who's the interrupter today? Hi, Kevin. Please keep in mind that the Pi Storm is a developing project. It is an awesome project with a team of people. And Emu68, Mr. Michael, who really pimps it out and has a GitHub and Patreon and all sorts of good things to support that project. I am in no way, shape, or form an expert on everything PyStorm. I'm just a consumer and a power user, I'll consider myself, just like you guys. Uh, if you need to update your cores, or if you need to update the kernel, or the boot and nitfra ram fs thing, it's super simple. It's a text file. It is available in your FAT32 partition when you put your PyStorm card right back in your computer. You're all going to see one thing. I named mine boot, so I knew what it was. Go to the EMU Nightly Builds, which I will link in the description below. Drag and drop. Extract. Bada bing, bada ching. Bob's your uncle. PyStorm is growing fast. It is currently, I don't know what month it is. April? May? 2023? And it changes all the time. They have nightly builds, so if something don't work, go right around the block and download the last one. It'll be probably fixed. And if not, post an article on EMU68 GitHub or the PyStorm Facebooker group, and one of us will be able to jump in and help you out. Thank you for watching this update, and until next time, hope you learned something. Funny, you bastard.